pick me up when I'm down, Lord, you are. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm just getting ready for worship. But hey, welcome, everybody. Welcome once again for those who are joining for, I don't know how many weeks we've been doing this, but joining once again. And for those who are joining for the first time, welcome to Ethnos Live. That's what I'm going to call it. Hey, I'm Eric Lige, the worship director here at Ethnos, and I'm excited to be with you and that we can be together to honor Jesus. We are in week two of a new teaching series called Cultivating Beauty. So Pastor Scott will be back with us in a moment to guide us through that time, um, that teaching time. But before that, we're going to do something that we do here each week, and that is to enter into a time of musical praise and musical worship. The first two songs um, for today, our opening songs, they draw or call our attention to God's holiness, God's awesomeness. And acknowledging that God is holy, what we're really saying is that God is sacred. God is divine. God is faithful. God is faultless. I could be here all day just describing God, but we don't want that, do we? <laughs> so in um, our first song here, we're going to sing our faithful, we're going to sing to our faithful and faultless God who looked down into humanity and saw our brokenness. A God who not only decided to offer redemption, but to take brokenness and to make something beautiful out of it. You know, that's my story. That's your story. That's our story. It's a story of this beautiful, diverse, global community right here online, a, a diverse community of people who are loved deeply by God. Um, we're not able to do this today, to look around and just to kind of celebrate one another and giving high fives and hugs and all that stuff. But you can do it right there in the comment section. But here's something I do want to invite us to do. And this is a fun challenge for us. When you get a moment, go to a mirror, pause, look in that mirror and see God's beauty. Sounds a little weird, I know, right? But here's the thing. We often see God's beauty in flowers and birds and stars and trees and the sun and the moon and the ocean that's right up the street from where I am or rivers and lakes and rain. You have so much beauty around us. And yet, sometimes it's hard to pause to see beauty in humanity, to see God's beauty in ourselves. And yet I'm here to remind us that we are created in the image and the likeness of God. And we're called to love one another, to love our neighbors as ourselves. We're all broken, I know, and it's hard sometimes, but this is something that I'm inviting us to lean into today. I'm inviting myself to lean into that as well. Um, and just as God in the beginning of creation spoke into the void and created life, the invitation this morning is to let us go and gather broken pieces of our fragmented world and to create, cultivate beauty. Let's use what God's placed in our hands our skills, our talents, our words, our writing, our careers, our education. Let's use that to create beauty. For me as a songwriter, as a singer, one way in which I contribute to creating beauty is to um, craft. I craft together words and melodies to offer songs that bring us hope and healing and allow us to see God and humanity. And I don't do that alone. I do that in community with other beautiful people. So would you join us as we get ready to worship? Join not only me, but Julia, Aaron, Rachel, Josh, Bornwell there in South Africa, Luigi up in LA, and Colin, who's behind the scenes working to create something beautiful that we can present to the God of this universe and to this beautiful community that we are part of. Let's honor Jesus together. <laughs> 